Hey folks, it's 1881MF on the Live Buzzing Channel. I've got little Debbie running that camera. Thanks, doll. You're a cute today, by the way. Well, and look at this. Whoa. Look at all these habanero peppers we have. Oh we gosh. have so many of them. This is like 250 habaneros. And 250 and 250. So that's like, what, a thousand? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, I thought, hey, let's let's see if we can make some, get the oil out of that, that capsaicin. Sin. Mm, oil, whatever it is. I really don't know Capsaicin. how to say it, but anyways, the way you do that is from your dried peppers, you break them up, you mix them with some 100 proof vodka, you let the vodka do its job, you separate the pulp out, dry the vodka out, and then you're set to go, right? Easy, right? So let's try it. First thing we're going to do, Ziploc, peppers, I think that's going to work. Mm. Let's see. Don't let the dog. Unless you're trying not to touch him. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put these peppers in here. Oh. Wow. And you, if you do that little pepper dance, that, that helps them all go in the bag. That wasn't dancing. So, I'm gonna crush these. Now, I've learned that you don't want to powder them. Because then the powder's hard to get out of your oil, right? You're trying to get pure oil. I think, honestly, this is way too many to start with. <laughs> now that, that, don't breathe that, Debbie. That'll kill you. And tell us the information when you're not doing the crunching. I'm crunching. I'm just going to pop these guys. So, fast. so there, look at that. So now we got them broke up pretty nice, right? So we're gonna take these fancy little broke up pieces of stem and all. Pull them back. Oh, whoa. Cheers. <laughs> well, I'm gonna dump this into a jar, a mason jar. Mm -hmm. down on her hands and knees getting the shot. You go girl. Alright, so now there's our pepper. Don't breathe that. Now we're just going to dump our 100 proof vodka. Cheap stuff works fine. Don't you have to taste it first? This is vodka. <gasps> People. That helps you pour it <laughs> if you have some. <laughs> so then you just want to kind of cover it to where you're about an inch above it. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> I didn't think any was coming out. And then you want to put a lid on it. It's not an inch above it. That'll settle. Is that the deal? Mm-hmm. Then you want to put it in a dark place and let it sit for a couple days. Shake it. Shake it a couple times a day and let it sit, okay? And then that's going to kind of... This is what I've been doing with the cayenne right here and that's been sitting for a couple days. So I'm going to filter it out next. And this has a little food strainer in there. Nice. I'm going to dump this and I'm going to filter out the liquids. And then we're going to take all this brown liquid, we're going to put it in a glass pie plate. And then we're going to put it outside, and we're going to put a fan on it. And we're going to let the fan blow it until all the alcohol evaporates. And then we should be left with the oil. <gasps> it's okay. not happening. So we'll be back in a minute, because we definitely do not want the dogs to get a hold of that. Okay, people. 
Sorry, baby. <laughs> Sorry. You can't see a whole lot, but few. Okay, so this has been, this one here has been running for a couple hours. This is the one we just put out about an hour ago. But look how thick this is. Notice this. See how thick that's already getting? The alcohol's wearing off of that. And that's getting to be There's a bee. our thick stuff. So, we'll keep it going for a few more hours. Okay, so this is the stuff that I have. This is capsaicin, pure capsaicin from peppers that I had that were like jalapenos and stuff like that that were just extra scraps and the seeds and stuff ultimately is what I started with. So, And this has been outside for a couple hours with the fan on it. Look how thick it is. They say pure capsaicin is 15 million scoville units. Don't want to mistake that for chocolate. And we're just going to put it in here and maybe leave the lid off for a little while and let the uh, rest of the alcohol kind of evaporate off and that will probably get thicker. That's what makes peppers hot right there. So there you go, pure capsaicin. I'm going to let it sit here kind of with a loose lid and uh, let any more alcohol evaporate, but there you go. That's a nice amount. Can you see how that jar is? See how thick. That's the hot stuff. What I'm going to do with it? Uh, unknown. What should I do with it? Anybody have any ideas? Thanks for watching. Subscribe, thumbs up, leave me a comment, ask me a question. 1881MF and Little Debbie Does on the Life Buzzing channel. Thank you, we're making capsaicin! So there it is. I think when you really dry it out and dry that oil out, or the liquor out, look at that. I'm pretty sure that's pure capsaicin right there. there huh I don't know how I'm gonna store that but it's pretty awesome 15 million Scoville units hot they say I'm not gonna try it anyways capsaicin <laughs>